Well, it's being called the flight path for the future at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. So if you head to the airport, you better pack your patience. The wave of construction projects will continue throughout the year. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins takes a closer look. Two of those major construction projects are about to wrap up here at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, and the airport director is excited. If you're planning to fly out of St. Louis Lambert International Airport anytime soon, don't be surprised. Passengers can see flight activity on the runway by looking north from concourses A and C and then terminal ticket levels. You shouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of there's a lot of dirt. There's a lot of concrete, um, but the project, like I said, we, we hope to have that finished to the end of October. So it's it's gone really, really well. It's been a great partnership with the contractor. The work to reconstruct St. Louis most used runways that started last year continues. The runway accounts for about 40% of St. Louis air operations. Now the project required tearing out and replacing large parts of existing pavement that have been reached its end of life. There, there was also a sizable asbestos abatement within the pavement. Our largest runway, a 12 right, 30 left, has been under construction for the last year. So it's a two-phase project. That runway was built in, in the 1950s. And so it has the first half of it was completed last year. This is the larger portion of it. So it started uh, early spring, and we hope to have it wrapped up by uh, end of October. About a $90 million project from the FAA. We get support of 75% of that through the FAA. So it's been, a, it's been a big project. It's really great to see that our largest runway and our oldest runway uh, is now going to be brand new. St. Louis took a very inclusive view to improve the customer's experience with garage parking to Terminal 2 with the simple goal of shrinking traffic congestion. Reporting from St. Louis Lambert International Airport, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.